Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. They stole my baby. I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. Oops. <laughs> no, no, little fingers away. Uh, there we go. I don't think Sean and I need to tell you how great of a mother you are. But we're going to anyway. You are kind and loving and funny. <laughs> That's right. And patient. Look, with Sean and us all being at home together, it's been an amazing year, but even so, I know our best days are yet to come. There will be changes, sure, things we'll need to adjust to. I'll rejoin the civilian workforce, you'll shake the dust off your law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. God damn them. So many years stolen. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, daddy's... daddy's gone, but... But I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. Sean... It's really you. It really is. So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. But... Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Your father... He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself. A chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. Sean, uh, about this synth... You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could... Love him? Like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. They weren't kidding. 
You really are here. Welcome. Family is so good to have you here. So, here There's you no friction, are. Is it? Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Falder is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefine. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, ma'am. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. All right, let's go. Right behind you, ma'am. I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. B-592 initialize factory reset. Authorization Gamma 71 Epsilon. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Your new quarters are here, ma'am. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? I'd teach the guy a lesson. Make sure he never does it again. Using physical force is never my first choice. But there are times when it becomes necessary. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs? They're crazy, thinking machines are alive. Uh, agreed. However noble they may believe themselves to be, they are thieves. Hey. I'll act quickly. You can count on me. You'll have a contact waiting for you just outside Bunker Hill. Good luck. Sorry to have held you up. Try and keep up from here out. Our targets are inside. Four synths under railroad protection. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta 62 Arcus. All right, Sid. Please. C322, initiate reset. Authorization code beta 77 theta 93 Stratus. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So, it was you. You let me out? Yes. It was my decision. Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean... You need to know... I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it that way. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. 
But there are other subjects that require our attention first. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Phase 3 is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understatement. Sir? Yes, Dr. Hale. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well... He is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, Can't be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. I assure you, we can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. I know you can hear me, now open this door! Uh, what's the use? What's going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as father's successor. They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. They've lost their minds. No, they've lost faith. It's one thing to protest, but this... this is going way too far. Look, I can see that you're angry, but please, talk to them before resorting to more violent measures. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. Can we talk about this? Father chose not to talk to the Directorate before anointing you his successor. So how about I follow his fine example? I'm not a patient person, Dr. Higgs. Unlike you, Dr. Loken and I are very patient. We have more than enough food to stay locked in here, as long as is necessary. You and the others will go hungry long before we do. Don't you think you're being a little selfish here? Far from it. What we do, we do to protect the Institute. Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. How could you hope to lead us when you hardly know anything about what we do? All I'm asking is that you keep an open mind. I'm sorry, but our minds are made up. Both Dr. Loken and I have resolved to stand our ground. I thought you were a reasonable man. Maybe I was wrong. This is much bigger than just you and I. I'm protecting decades of research and progress. The answer is no. We will not back down. You're a stubborn fool. And you're not gonna like how this ends. Nor will you.
I'll see that the mess in hydroponics is cleaned up. I suppose I should also make the funeral arrangements. Well, there's much to do, so I'll get about it. In the meantime, I'm sure everyone will be relieved that this is over. Did Dr. Ao find you? He wanted to talk to you about something. Did he? I'm looking forward well, then I'll have to go speak with him. By the way, hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. Holy crap, we've finally done it. We've made it to the Institute, we've been reunited with my son, and to make matters even more amazing, I'm going to be the successor to this place. Still getting a chance to, uh, to meet everyone and know everyone, but apparently Justin Ao wants to see me. We've got a problem here. To be honest, Father's never taken it as seriously as he should. I'm hoping you will. What's the problem? We often send synth scavenger teams to the surface. Occasionally, one of the synths will try to escape. The rate of escapes has been increasing lately, and I don't think it's just random chance. Okay, what are you doing to solve this problem? I did some digging, and discovered that the culprit is right here. In the Institute. Someone in robotics has been changing my work crew assignments, replacing synths I approve for surface duty with high flight risks. I'm convinced that someone is Alan Binet. He thinks that synths are people. He even lives with one. It's disturbing. Hmm. There's gotta be some way to prove it was him. I agree. Unfortunately, even if I had proof of Binet's involvement, I don't have the authority to do anything about it. But you, your father's hand-picked successor. If you make the accusation, nobody would have the nerve to question it. Anyway, like I said, the roster assignments were definitely altered from the terminals in robotics. I leave the rest to you. Hmm. Plugging a leak. Feels like this Investigate the robotics terminals. Senses people. My god. What a ridiculous statement. A short hop and a skip over into robotics, and uh, our goal is to check the robotics terminals. But it would probably also be a good idea to talk to Alan Binet. Excuse me, Doctor. Our synths are truly remarkable. Every day they manage to surprise me. Now, what can I do? Are you helping synths escape from the Institute, Dr. Binet? <sighs> Not this nonsense again. I suppose this means that Justin Ao has given up trying to wring a confession from me himself. Now, he's using you to do his dirty work instead. Ao and his coarser goons have already scoured my laboratory for evidence. Feel free to do the same if you think you must. If there's something specific you want to ask me, then get on with it. How many synths have escaped? I'm not sure of the exact number. But I can tell you, the rate of escapes has accelerated greatly in recent months. Why would Ao think you were helping Synths? He probably thinks my admiration for the Synths might have caused me to have some delusion about setting them free. The notion is preposterous. The last thing I'd want to do is banish a Synth to the surface. It's a living hell up there. That's not freedom. It's a death sentence. I would never be so cruel. Well, you're definitely right about that. Does anyone else have access to your terminals? Unlikely. I don't let anyone else lay a finger on my terminals without my close supervision. I'll make an exception in your case, however. If Father trusts you, then I have no reason not to. We're done. Very well. Hmm. Alan Binet... I don't know for sure, but he feels innocent. Sort of. Leaning towards innocent, uh, if nothing else. Um... Let's see, robotics terminal. Production schedule, plan system upgrades, view access log, project updates. Uh, access logs. So, Alan Binet, Alan Binet, Alan Binet, Justin Ao, Alan Binet. Uh, M is, I believe, Max, Max Loken, Alan Binet. So, nothing out of the ordinary there. Are all the terminals the same? Or are they different? Let's check this one. Do, do, do. No, they're different. This has got different stuff on it. Access logs. Uh, Alan Binet, Alan Binet, Max Loken, Max Loken, Alan Binet. Uh, oh. Remote. Binet quarters. Login blank. Notes error. Record deleted. Well, that's certainly unusual. 
let's go, uh, let's go check out Alan Benet's... Alan Benet's, uh, living quarters, shall we? Hello there. Um, yes. excuse me. Hey, as the Institute's first personal synth, I try to set a good example. Uh, Nora, try not to let your husband come out. I think that's admirable. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you say so. It was a real pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you're still taking everything in, so I'll let you get back to that. Hey, you're that new guy. The one from the vault. What are you doing here? Oh, just looking around. Oh, come on. You're not gonna fool me that easily. You're here for a reason, I can tell. So what is it? I'm investigating synth escapes. I already told Justin Ao that my dad has nothing to do with that. I guess he didn't believe me, so he sent you instead. That guy's a real jerk. Listen, I know what Justin Ao believes, but he's wrong. My dad's not helping synths get away. I guess he could get into real trouble if they decide he's guilty anyway. If your father is innocent, then there's nothing to worry about. I wish everyone would just leave my dad alone. I mean, why is it such a big deal if a few synths escape? We have more than enough here. Hmm. Liam, I can only help if you're honest with me. I already told you. I don't... I don't know anything about it. I guess I'll get out of your way then. I wouldn't want to interfere with your stupid investigation. Stupid investigation? Why can't a synth be a person too? I don't really see the difference. Liam, a synth is not a person. They were created in a factory. Dear God. Also, you seem extremely defensive. Certainly you wouldn't mind if I checked this terminal, right? Access logs. Alan Benet, Alan Benet. Remote. Synth retention, main control, error ID, error record deleted. Hmm. Well, I seem... I think that that's a little unusual. I think we have a terminal to go check. Excuse me, uh, Dr. Ao. I need to use this terminal. There's, uh... Something strange afoot. You access logs. Let's see here. Aha! Remote. Maintenance Terminal 6. Okay. Looks like we have to go check out another terminal. Let's see. Right through here. Should be Maintenance Terminal 6. Holy crap! you had to find me. You're the one who's been helping the synths escape? Me? No, I, I, I'm just helping. Justin was closing in and figuring things out. I offered to help so he wouldn't get caught. I want answers, and I want them now. I know Liam isn't really my son, but I've come to love him as if he were. He's so smart and so kind-hearted. All he wants is for Synths to have a better life, to be free. I'm sorry. You seem like a good person, but I can't let you tell Justin that Liam is helping the Synths. You're making a big mistake here. If that's how you feel, we have nothing left to talk about. That's what you want! Eve, please. Eve. This is ridiculous, Eve. Doggone it. Do you realize what you're throwing away? Sense aren't people. My god. I won't kill you, Eve. But I guarantee you these people will. Oh my god, the Institute seems very, very mad at you. Wow. Wow, that- that was... That was actually ki kind of ridiculous. People were not happy with you at all. Alright. I need to go talk to your, uh, son. You're the one helping Synths escape. Why? So you figured it out. Nice work. Nobody else down here could. I'm not surprised it took someone from outside. At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you know? But then I realized the synths are really just like us, except without any freedom. I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape, so they can have a better life. They're not going to have a better life, and they're not people. 
You should know that Eve is dead. She died trying to protect you. Oh no. No! I'm so sorry. I had no idea she'd grown that attached. Or cared that much. I swear I didn't mean for that to happen. She was a good person, I promise. She really seemed to love us. Look, now that you know, you have a choice to make. You could tell Justin. But I have a proposal for you. I want to frame Justin Ao. Look, ever since Dr. Zimmer left, he's been out of control. He and his coursers have been pushing people around and threatening them to get what he wants. When he came after my dad, that was the last straw. Would that really solve anything? Who would take Justin's place if he were gone? Alana Secord. She's honest, fair, and good at what she does. She'll make a great acting director for the SRB. Liam, you don't get to just come in here, do all these things willy-nilly, get someone killed, and then say, actually, maybe we could frame this guy. That's not how this works, that's not how justice works. And that's certainly not how the Institute's going to run under my control. Nice try, kid, but that's not happening. Well, I guess that's it for me, then. At least now I can prove my dad is innocent. And don't worry, I won't try to run. I wouldn't know where to go anyway. Sorry about this, but you should have known better. I think we need to go have a chat with Justin. It's not Alan Benet that's helping the synths. It's his son, Liam. The boy? I wouldn't have thought him capable of such a thing. What's going to happen to him? We will teach him a memorable lesson about the price of interfering in our operations. Well, you tracked down the culprit and plugged the leak. Congratulations are in order. I admit, I didn't think you could pull it off. Let's make sure this can't happen again. I intend to implement improved internal security measures. And that includes tighter monitoring of our network. Soon, nothing will go on here that I don't know about. You've helped the SRB in this matter. And now it's time I return the favor. We keep a small reserve of currency for those times when my coursers have to deal with the surface dwellers. Here, take this. It might prove useful for you. Done and done. The leak has been plugged. Oh, goodness. That was nice. Doggone kid. But I'm just getting started. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Sounds good, Allie. Will do. Looks like we are going... into, uh, into the Mass Fusion building. Alright, Allie, I'm in the, uh, relay. Relaying to Mass Fusion will make you a permanent enemy of the Brotherhood of Seal. Are you sure you wish to proceed? <laughs> like I ever wanted to have anything to do with those nut jobs. You are now enemies with the Brotherhood of Steel. Fine by me. 